Well, if you're just joining us at home, here are the eight things you need to know today. We're following breaking news this morning. Police investigating a shooting in South Portland after two men with gunshot wounds showed up at Mercy Hospital in Portland. News 8's Morgan Sturdivant is there right now. That's where we find her. So, Morgan, what do we know? Good morning, Megan. So, what we know right now is that two men brought themselves here last night. It, that's, this is what police tell us. They brought us themselves here to Mercy last night with gunshot wounds. Portland police told us two men. They came here around 11 o'clock last night. Then they say one man was transferred to Maine Medical Center. They say the men told them the shooting happened in South Portland. We were told South Portland police were headed to the hospital to speak with the men involved. I've left messages with several of the police officers at South Portland. Lieutenant Simons it was the officer on duty I'm hoping to speak with. I just spoke with dispatch a little bit ago, said they have not released any information regarding this besides what I have told you this morning. You can keep up. Updated. We will keep you updated through our social media outlets, our mobile app, our website, and again tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live in Portland this morning, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8. Thank you, Morgan. Also breaking overnight in Ferguson, Missouri, two police officers shot outside police headquarters just one day after that city's police chief resigned. Both officers are conscious at a hospital while investigators continue searching for the shooters. The St. Louis County Police Chief says the officers were shot, quote, just because they're police officers. Secret Service in the spotlight again. Two senior agents accused now of crashing a car into a White House barricade. The Washington Post, which first reported the investigation, says the agents crashed near the White House last week after drinking at a colleague's retirement party. The Homeland Security Part Department is now investigating. Hundreds gathered for a vigil last night to remember 11 service members presumed dead after a helicopter crash. It is still being considered a search and rescue mission, though human remains and pieces of the chopper were found yesterday just before heavy fog hampered their search efforts. Just talking about this story with Mike and Dennis, disturbing video of a Massabesic high school student punching and kicking a 16-year-old girl on school grounds. The video was then shared online, and now school officials say they are investigating, but the parents of the girl in the video say they aren't being told anything. The University of Southern Maine has a new president this morning. The school introduced Dr. Harvey Kesselman as its new president yesterday. Kesselman is currently the provost and executive vice president of Stockton University in New Jersey. He takes over July 1st. And in South Portland, you may notice the truck parked outside the Bonton store, perhaps, maybe. The goal is to stuff that truck full of donations for goodwill. If you donate, you get a 25% off coupon for Bonton. The drive runs through March 28th. And everybody get ready. It's the countdown and the drum roll from Mallory here in just a couple of minutes at 7 o'clock. Cape Elizabeth residents will be able to sign up for this summer's Beach to Beacon. It's a first come, first serve basis with just 600 spots up for grabs. Now, the general public will get to sign up tomorrow. What do you think, Mallory?